Hello, my name is Rotor. I hope you're having a great day. This video is very different from my usual. I'm gonna try and get this done in one take, so bear with me. No edits other than to show you guys what's going on. I should probably edit around that, but I'm not going to. Now, if you have Beacon software, be it a Beacon Mix or a Beacon Mic, no edits. One of these bad boys. And you want to use a voice mod. And you realize that when you turn that on, you're hearing something very strange come through as a microphone. It's very poppy, very weird. And you decide to go to Google and you look for a solution and you see a video that says tutorial. And the first thing they tell you to do is pop in here and turn on here myself and then route that into your sound table here by going into your settings, coming down here and sending it out there. That does work. You can do that. I'll show you. Just watch this one as I turn on here myself. And you can see it starts to pick it up. My problem with that is I have that routed to my stream so they can hear it and my chat so my friends can hear it. And even I can hear it because sometimes I just want to hear what I'm pressing because we we'll never know. Surprises on the soundboard sometimes. Regardless. That doesn't work for me because if hear myself is on then that means i've got to be able to either have a hot key to mute it or be able to turn it off for myself and as you can see there's only two buttons here to mute with the mix the direct button and the knob button mix create excuse me what do you do the solution i initially found was to go into your settings and open more sound settings in more sound settings this is auxiliary one i would go into here and i would go to advanced and i would change this down to two channel 16 bit 96000 hertz that worked initially i could do that route it in here send it over to discord and it would sound just fine until i rebooted a couple times and then it stopped working and changing it back and forth stopped working as well so then what do i do well i spend the next two hours digging through google and digging through the beacon discord looking for a solution and everything just keeps telling me to route it out through here myself as a playback. And I don't want to do that because again, I just want it as a microphone so my friends can hear it. I don't have to hear it or chat can hear it depending on what's necessary. Maybe I'm doing something in a game that requires me to have a voice on, but I don't want my friends to be hearing that voice because we're still carrying on a serious conversation. Well, I want to be able to swap between the two and still allow the chat to hear it. Or if I were to press something on my soundboard, allow my friends to hear that without me having to worry about, oh, is my voice on? Well, I did find a solution. After the two hours I spent going through the Discord and found nothing. This was not found anywhere within my two hours of digging through the Discord. I pop over to Reddit. Thanks to this user right here, whose name I can't pronounce, you, very, you can simply download voice meter voice meter is a free application and yes there is a paid version paid license to get you more access or whatever it does and that's great and all but all you need is the free version to do this and i'm going to show you with wavelink because i am routing an xlr into a wavelink into this all you do is you pull up your secondary mixer voice meter wavelink whatever other mixer you have if you have one and again voice meter is free you go into a hardware input, so for me this is aux2, and then you route in your voice mod microphone, which is the same one we have here. So we're going to untick that, we're going to go down here, and we're going to turn on uh, wave stream monitor, and just like that, we have a clean, perfectly working voice mod. Oh mic that I can now route to my chat, to my stream, and I can hear back myself with no issue. Now you might be wondering how I can route it to myself and my stream based on the settings you see in front of you, and it's very simple. I don't use this in my stream this way. In my stream, I use the base inputs straight out of my computer into OBS. That's just the way I do it, and that's the way I'm going to continue to do it, and I mute and unmute with the stream deck. Very simple solution. I don't use the mixer for that. The mixer is solely for the bass, everything else the stream hears, apart from the microphones, 
and for my voice chat with my friends. So that way I can change out what microphone they're hearing or what sound effects I want them to be able to hear within my soundboard. That allows me to do that without having to change microphone inputs within Discord itself. And this just works. It's nice, it's clean, and it's done. And it was that simple. I apologize that this dragged on for too long. Some of those tutorials I referred to dragged on way too long, but I tried to keep it to the point. So if this helped you, let me know by leaving just a like, leave a comment, whatever. Hope this helped because I sure really could have used this two hours ago. So thank you everybody so much for watching this video. If it helped you, leave a like. And until next time, peace. Hey, real quick, before you leave, just wanted to say there will be latency if you do it the way I do it, running this into Discord. There's like a 0.39 second delay, okay? It's not that big, but it is noticeable. So if that's the problem for you, you'll want to do it the way that everyone else recommends, which is routing it as the hear myself way. I don't think that it's that big of a deal. Works for me, but just wanted to put it out there. There is a delay, so just be aware. Okay, bye.